Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to solve today's problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is maximize the array. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up, right? But before proceeding further to the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, it will motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. So make sure to join. Well, so the problem is maximize the array. Okay, so... The problem statement says given two integer arrays array 1 and array 2 of size n use the greatest elements from the given arrays to create a new array of size n such that it consists of only unique elements and sum of all its element is going to be maximum right now the created element should contain the elements of array 2 followed by elements of array 1 in order of their appearance so first of all what uh, they have mentioned now in the question that we have to give priority to the elements of array 2 so the created element should contain the elements of array 2 followed by the elements of array 1 in the order of their appearance so that's what this statement means so what we have to achieve here is we have to create a new array of the size n itself such that it should be consisting of only unique elements and sum of all its elements should be maximum. So let's understand the same with the help of an example. So let's say here we are having this example. N equal to 5 we do have and these are the arrays elements 7, 4, 8, 0, 1, 9, 7, 2, 3, 6. Okay. So you can see what we are getting here is what is the size of the array 1 and array 2 that is 5 so we have to create an, another array a new array that is satisfying the criteria given in the question right so what we are getting our new array our output is what 97648 so you can say first priority we will give to the like array 2 elements right first of all we need them so 976 these are the largest elements that we can fetch from this array 2, 9, 7, 6. And here these, uh, this 2, 3, like they are small when compared like 3 elements we have already taken from array 2. Na? So now this, we can take only 2 elements, right? And so the remaining 2 we can take from here. Why? Because uh, here we have 2, 3 which is smaller than that of 8 and 4. So 8 and 4 we can take from array 1. So 9, 7, 6 are from second array and 4, 8 from first array. Here is our next example. So, here let's see what do we have. So, see, here the largest value, see 9 would be there, 5 and 9. 5, 6, 9 basically. 5, 6, 9. These three elements we have taken from array 2, right? And because see here, 6 and 6 was similar. So, obviously, priority you have to give to whom? To the elements that is there in the array 2. And then 5 was also there, right? Then we can take, then we can take 7 from here, right? 7 from the array 1. Now, you also, the question was specifying clearly that we don't need duplicate elements. So, 6 was here, 6 was here as well. So, we don't need duplicates element, right? So, here what we do have an explanation as well that 5, 6, 9 are from second array and 7 from the first array. So, whatever task is, we have to complete the function maximize array, which is taking the array ARR1, ARR2 and N as input parameters and we have to return the desired array of integers. So, they have mentioned the expected time complexity as well as the auxiliary space, right? So, let's understand the logic part for solving this particular problem, right? So, let's say this is the test case provided to us. So, this is the N, this is the N value. This is n value, this is ARR1 and this is ARR2. So first of all, what we'll be doing, we'll be taking another, another array, let's call it as ARR3 and we'll be storing all the elements of ARR1 and ARR2 to ARR3, right? So first of all, uh, to whom we have to give the priority to the array elements that are there in the array 2, right? So the elements that are there in the array 2. So first of all, we'll be storing all these elements, 2, 0, 6, 8, 9, 2, 6 in ARR3, then the remaining one. So 8, 8, 4, 3, 1, 4, 9. Uh, let me mark the index as well. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
right so we can take the size of this array arr3 as 2 cross n okay so we are having 14 elements here now what we'll be doing is so we need top n elements right we need top n elements uh, so that we can make our some maximum right the new array that we're going to form for that one so what we'll be doing now any guesses like can you think what we can do here so what we can do is after forming this we can sort our array right sort our array arr3 in the descending order so after sorting what you are going to have so 9 is the largest value here right 9 so first 9 values will be there let me uh, cross them then 8 8 8 8 8 8 so we have taken all the 8 values then the next one is 6 1 2 okay then uh, 6 has been taken then 4 1 2 4 we have taken then we need what then is 3 is there okay then 2 so we have 2 2 so we have to write 2 2 then 1 and then this 0 so let's count the element now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 yeah so this is our sorted array in the descending order now we need out of this sorted array only like n elements we need right we need n elements only also these n elements should be unique they should be unique elements so what we'll be doing so for that we'll be using a set data structure so let's say we have taken a set data structure and like we are calling it by name s right so what we're going to do now in this in this value s we are going to add in this uh, set we are going to add let's call this set okay in this set what we're going to add we are going to these elements Till the time the size of set is not equal to that of n because we need n values only. So first of all, we'll be adding 9, right? Now this 9 won't be considered because this is duplicate. Then we're adding 8. Now these values won't be considered because they are duplicate. Then 6 will be added, right? Then 4 will be added. Then 3 will be added. Then 2 will be added. Then 1 will be added. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now the size of set is 7. So we'll uh, our loop will stop right there. So these are the elements that we are having now. Okay. Now but what the question does expect from us. That we have to print the output. In the same order that like. In the same order the values are occurring. Right. The values are occurring first in the array 2 then array 1. So this is what is expected from us. So for this what we can do is we will be taking a for loop. For int element in First of all, in array 2, we have to check, right? So, in array 2, so what we'll be doing is, and uh, as you know that we have to return an array list. So, let's call our array list as result. So, result is the array list that we are having. To so this, what we're going to do is, so we can check that the element on which we are currently in array 2, if that is present in our set, if that is present in our set, it means it is a part of top n, top n elements that we need, right? So, first of all, if you will check here, this is array 2. So, 2. 2 is the part, right? 2 is there in the set? Yes, it is. So, we, we are going to take 2. And also, we are going to remove this. We are going to remove this 2 from our set. Why so? Because maybe a possibility that this 2 is occurring in the, like 2 is occurring further further in the array 2, right? Because you can see it is occurring here as well. So, to avoid duplicacy, we are uh, we are deleting this value 2 from the set because we have already taken now and we don't need duplicate values. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Then 0, 0 is not in the set. Then 6, 6 is in the set. So we are going to take 6. We are going to add basically 6 in the result. So these are the values that we are adding to our array list result. Then 8, 8 is there, right? So we are going to take 8 as well. Then 9, 9 is there. We are going to take it and... 2 we have all, like 2 is not going to be considered because now we have already deleted 2 so 2 is not present in the set now so let me cancel these values as well so as if we are using these values we are de deleting them from the set so 9 8 6 I need 6 okay right so 6 has also been deleted now it's no longer a part of set so like if you are going to write a if condition here that if set is having that value so it, it is not going to be true okay so we have taken, we have considered, we have traversed through all the elements of array 2. Now we will be checking for array 1. Okay. So now here if you will check. 8, 8 is not there in the set. We have already removed. Right. This is not there. 4, 4 is there in the set. So use it. Remove it here from the set. Then 3. Yes, 3 is there. Use it and remove from the set. Then, then we will be checking for 1. 1 is there in the set. Use it, remove it. Then 4, 
4 is now no longer in the set and 9 is also right so this will be our output in this sequence we have to print the values so 2 6 8 9 4 3 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are the top n values that we have got for our new array right for our new array list right so i hope the problem statement was clear for you i hope the logic part is also clear like it is almost implementation based thing right so if you are clear with the logic you can simply implement it by yourself but even for uh, making it explanatory for you let's have a look on the code part as well so let's see so here you can see we have taken an array list that we have to return right because our function is expecting an array list to be returned then we have taken a set right so that's what it is then here is our set right and there it is our auxiliary array uh, arr3 that is having the size n cross 2 right so now what we are doing is first of all we are storing the elements of arr2 in arr3 and then the elements of arr1 in arr3 right so this i already explained to you next what we have to do is so we'll be sorting the elements of arr3 in descending order right so after sorting we need right n values we need n values only top n values so for this what we are doing is we are going through all the elements that are there in arr3 and we are adding this to our set and we will continue with this process till the time set size is not equal to n right if this condition became true that if set dot size equal equal to n so we'll be simply breaking the loop right now we have to maintain we got the elements the top l uh, top n elements that we need we have got them but the thing is we want them in a sequential order the way they have occurred uh, in the ar2 then in the ar1 so for that what we are doing is that we are going through the elements in ar2 first and then we are checking that if our set contain that particular element so we have to add that element in our result and also to avoid duplicacy we are removing this from our set because next time this condition should not be true if any duplicate element occurs right the same thing we are doing here for arr1 that we are doing above right and at the last we are simply returning result right so i hope the code part is also clear for you right i have provided the code in the description for your reference so you can do have a look there as well so thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you everyone for watching Bye bye